Hey guys, Steve Flash, and this is our second video in a series where we take a look at the different devices in Ableton Live. Last week we took a look at Auto Filter and the different ways you can use it for effects in your music. This week we're going to take a look at Auto Pan. Auto Pan works by using two oscillators to modulate the volume of each channel uh, that it's on, or yeah, each channel of the track that it's on. So we have it right now on our drum track. So let's just trigger that and take a look at how it works. Oops, we've got this soloed. So okay. So now when we adjust the amount, you're gonna notice that the drum beat is bouncing from side to side. Now we can adjust the rate of the oscillator and you'll hear it bouncing faster. And then we can beat sync it. So now it's running in relation to the clock on the live set. And then you can adjust the phase, which is how far each oscillator is from each other. So if we move them closer together, you notice that the volume for both of them is ducking at the same time. And then the shape is just how large each oscillator is. So if you max it out, then you got something like this. It kind of does that for each one. So you have a sine oscillator, a ramp oscillator, triangle, which is similar to the sine, it's just not as rounded at the top, and then this one's random. It's nice that you can see the actual output. The offset is you can change the start point of the oscillator. And invert flips the shape of the oscillator. And this is with it maxed out. You can actually make it less dramatic. And you might want to use it like on hi-hats. So we'll take it off the all the drum beats and just put it on the hi-hats. And now we we'll bring it in. You can hear moving from each side. It also has a decent effect on uh, reusing like a pad. And you can actually give it kind of a sound of vibrato. Here's with it off. And then we'll put it back on.
So you can see right here how it's bouncing off his side. And if we bring the amount down, it's off. And that's pretty much all there is to auto pan. Uh, the one thing you can change is if you want to change it to uh, change it back to uh, Hertz, and then you can change it to spin mode instead of uh, instead of stereo, and then you can. What spin does is it just detunes one of the oscillators in relation to the other one so you'll get one channel the right channel will be a little bit slightly off to the left one so that's auto pan there's not much to really dive into it um, it's another one of those effects that I think the more subtle it is, the more interesting it can be, make a sound. But you could also just use a dramatic. Well, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so that you can check out all the rest of the videos that I'm going to be posting. Uh, I'm going to be posting beat repeat next week, so that'll be an interesting one to go through and take a look at the different ways we can use that. So, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments. And thanks for checking out the video. Thanks.